Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are checking me out for the first time and you're interested in becoming a model, you definitely want to consider subscribing. I make awesome videos on a weekly basis that you guys are absolutely going to love. So if you are a model or maybe you've thought about being a model, there are a couple of things that you guys probably need to know about the insane cost of being a model. Being a model can be very expensive, especially because you're spending a lot of your own money at first just to get started. And once you've gotten started, you're still spending some of your own money to go on go sees and castings. So in this video, let's get into some of the details and break down the cost of being a model. Coming right up. One of the biggest expenses that models have, especially in a big city like New York, is paying for their model apartments. Now, if you guys don't know what a model apartment is, think about a model who just got signed from a smaller city and now has to move to New York to a big city, but they can't necessarily afford an apartment on their own because apartments in New York are very expensive. So what happens is that the agencies actually place the model in a model apartment or model home. Sometimes you can see a model apartment in New York with only one bathroom and eight models sharing that apartment together. So this is something that's very common, especially in New York. Um, you can be paying anywhere from $600 to $800 for your model apartments, despite the fact that you're sharing it with other roommates. So when you think about it, it might actually be cheaper for you to get your own apartments and share with roommates rather than paying for a model apartment that's highly priced in Manhattan um, and you're splitting that with eight other models. That's crazy. Joe, that's been your answer every time I tell a story. Another thing to think about when you consider the cost of being a model is that when a model does a job, they don't get paid right away. Sometimes you don't get paid until three or four months after the job has been done. So there's a lot of space between doing the job and getting paid. And sometimes you need some income coming in to kind of fill the gap to cover your bills, to cover your daily expenses, because you never know when you're going to get the next job. In between that time, some agencies actually offer a cash advancement, which means they pay you ahead of time before your check actually comes in. But the downside is that they actually charge you an interest rate. Now, this interest could be very expensive as well for models in a big city like New York. I've seen agencies charge anywhere from 3% interest up to 30% interest. So that's another thing that models have to be careful about is that they have to manage their cash properly so they don't need to take a cash advancement from their agencies. Another cost that can be very expensive is transportation. I can't tell you how many times models go to castings, they go on go sees, and they're spending their own money. They're getting on Uber rides, they're getting on the subway. I've personally driven from one state to another for a job. I drove from Illinois to Wisconsin. I've driven from Illinois to New York. Um, just for a modeling job. So these things can be very expensive because you're spending your own money and most of the time you're not being reimbursed by the clients, but sometimes you are. It's typical for a model to spend anywhere from $300 to $500 a month going on go sees and castings. Um, oftentimes some models in New York, they have up to five or six castings in a day. So this is something that models have to be careful about is uh, making sure that they're monitoring how much they spend on transportation. Another thing that factors into the cost of being a model is paying for professional photo shoots. So when you first start out, you need a book. You need to build your book. You need your headshots, you need your beauty shots, you need digitals, things like that. Um, oftentimes your agents would uh, refer you to shoot with a professional photographer. Sometimes they might actually recommend a photographer for you. Um, these photographers aren't cheap. They charge anywhere from $500, $600, even up to $800 for a portrait shot. And models need to update their book often. If you change your hairstyle, if you get a haircut, you need to update your book. Um, sometimes your pictures get stale and you need to just refresh your images. So models oftentimes have to pay for their own photo shoots. Now, sometimes some models are lucky enough to get free test shoots, but that's not always the case. Now, as a model, you're expected to look and feel your best. And obviously that comes at a price. If you're a female model, you have to pay for hair and makeup. So all these cosmetic and beauty products has to come into play. And this can be very expensive as well. People can spend anywhere from $200 and upward um, per month on just their personal upkeep. And on that note, eating healthy and taking care of your body, going to the gym, uh, getting a gym membership is also very expensive. It's usually around $50 per month. Not to mention you have to eat healthy and healthy foods are more expensive than junk food. So that's another thing to consider as well. Another thing that factors into the cost of being a model is that you often have to pay uh, a web fee to your agency. So an agency would charge you for putting you on the website and promoting you uh, they might charge you some administrative fees for submitting you to several clients. This is usually around $150 a year, not to mention the commission that they charge, uh, which is usually around 10 to 20% commission. So as a model, you're expected to have the essential items like your heels, your black boots, 
black jeans, turtleneck, uh, things like that, sometimes the dress suits. So having these items could be very expensive. Oftentimes models have to go shopping just to make sure they have the right items to wear to a casting or go see or making sure they have the right items for a job. And in general, models are expected to look fashionable and trendy, so making sure you keep up with your wardrobe is very important. Um, I've seen models spend anywhere from $200 a month on just their clothing items, and that's more on the lower scale. All right, guys, so these are some of the things that factors into the cost of being a model. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned anything new, hit me with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one.